There's that one you mentioned, getting a little greedy. Angled down leg side, looking for the booming out swinger, and he's punished with a leg glance. Travis Dean off the mark with a boundary. More swing, but Pekowski's cut shot goes over the top of Gully. It's a safe shot. Down to the boundary for four. He rehearses the shot as well. Short ball, pulled away. Great shot from Pekowski. In front of square. Onto that quickly. That finds the edge. Got a hand on it in the gully, but it's not going to stop it going for four. It's a good effort. I think it's Aaron Hardy. Bit of width there from Stobo, and Dean doesn't quite middle it, but it looks like he'll probably get enough of it to get it to the boundary. Big chase out there. And knocks it back, but not back far enough. That'll be four. Bit of width oh, on offer, and yeah, it's through the hands of Roccacholi. It's a long boundary out there, but that'll make it. No point chasing that one. Travis Dean gets another boundary through the offside. Moving on to 19. Short and cut over the top of Gully. Good shot from Pekovsky. Second time this morning, he's gone aerial with the cut shot, and he finds the boundary again. Cut through the gap between Gully and Point. Nice shot from Dean. And will go across the rope for four. He moves to 28. Now we get for 59. That's a bit fuller and a little bit of width on offer for Dean. That's the shorter boundary out there on the offside, so that'll race away for four. Nice use of the hands from Dean to get across to that one. Edge, short of the slip and wide anyway. Kukowski will pick up four. And a good testing delivery from Haskett to end his over. Nicely played by Dean. Just leaning back a little bit, opening the face and running it safely down to the third boundary. And another four for Victoria. That one's wide and punished. That'll race away to the point boundary for four. And just straight in line and length there. A little short, a little wide from Haskett. The ball from Haskett, and that's worked away behind point, and that will be 50 for Travis Dean. Uh, no ball from Haskett to go with it, and that'll just add insult to injury, but Travis Dean, excellent innings so far to start the day. Looking to nick the batters off. And he does first ball straight through. Takes the off stop of Will Pekovsky, and the lunch break has struck for WA. Largely untroubled through the first session, but with the first ball of the second session... WA have struck and Pekovsky has been bowled by Hardy for 39. Victoria won for 108. The leg side, was there a nick? There was. The umpire's nodding his head. And Kellaway has been strangled down the leg side. And Hardy's bowled seven absolute seeds to start the session and then pushes one down leg and picks up another wicket. Amazing how quickly it's changed. He's bowled some beautiful deliveries, but the one he actually gets the wicket on is the little struggle down the leg side. And As they say, it doesn't matter how you get them as, as long as you get them. And That's the thing. The length he started to bowl at the start of this session has brought about that wicket. Campbell Callaway's worried about the one that's going to beat him on the outside. Edge and into the gap. The chances continue. First runs after the lunch break. A boundary to Dean, but not convincing. Nicely driven this time by Dean. Beats mid-off. That'll go all the way to the rope for four. Saw him edge the drive the ball before. This was a far more compact stroke, and he played it nice and straight. Edge in the air and just wide of the right hand of Aaron Hardy. In fact, Cameron Gannon, I should say. That gully and rolls away for four. Full again, edge wide of gully. And that'll run away to the boundary for four. Gannon not able to get a hand on that. Not completely in control of the shot, but just a little bit fuller and wider from Charlie Stobo. It's fuller again and four again down the ground. And that's twice now. I think that's the same sort of succession of deliveries that, that Stobo's had. He catches the outside edge one. Break and he's got the whole lot of it. Yeah. Oh, there's another one, full and wide and punished again by Dean, and he's doing exactly what he's done all day, just punishing anything loose from the bowlers. Oh. A thickish outside edge from Hanscom, trying to force off the back foot. He'll get 4-4 four, four it, and he'll take it. He's off the mark. 
Oh, that's a lovely shot from Travis Dean. Wasn't really that wide. Just a little bit short from Hardy. As he spot it. Just a little bit too tight to cut it, that one. Trap Dean and Liam Haskett has his first wicket. But just wasn't the room there with that angle left armour coming around the wicket. First real mistake he's made, Trap Dean. He's been excellent up till that point. And you can see the celebration there from Liam Haskett. Flicked in the air. It's gone to point. Rocaccioli gets back and takes the catch. Well, it wasn't Stobo's best delivery. It was down leg side, and Hanscom's very annoyed with himself, trying to flick it away over the leg side field. Right in this contest now with all the all-rounders to come here for Victoria. Yeah, he'll be filthy with himself there, Peter Hanscom. He usually hits that ball through mid-wicket so well. Yeah, I'm not sure whether there's much seam or, no. or anything there. It's just... Yeah, he's come through the shot a little bit early, and at first I thought it was going to lob over into some, some vacant space over Rocacholi's head there, but... Gone straight through him, Aaron Hardy. Takes the off stump of Sutherland. And Hardy has his third. And for the second time today, WA have gone bang-bang with consecutive wickets. It's five for 199. And Victoria now at five for 199, having been none for 108. They haven't exactly wasted their excellent start, but this game is definitely back on an even keel. I'll leave you with Jason Berendorf. Jordan Scott edited a pick up at 5 for 199. Edge oh, taken nicely. Cameron Bancroft, some of the safest hands in the country in the slip court, and he comes across at second and takes it, and a wicket for Cameron Gannon. He's really gave the support to Hardy. Hardy's been absolutely terrific. That ball, he really squared up, didn't he? He uh, got caught on the crease, just to, nipped away just, to, just slightly, and a good catch there from Cameron Bancroft. As you said, a, a really safe pair of hands. Upper advances and whips that one away over mid-wicket. It's gone all the way for six. It takes Corey Roccacioli the distance. It's an impressive shot, that is. Just shimmy down and hit the middle of his bat and literally just... Clipped him over mid-wicket for six. No real flourish, no real wind-up, just a little whip. <laughs> That's edge and taken. Nicely done by Roccacioli and Ashton Turner. And Mitch Perry has to find his way back to the pavilion for three. And the seventh wicket goes down for Victoria. There with a little bit of spin and bounce as we're seeing here on the replay right now. Just enough and carrying... Just above the turf there to Ashton Turner at first slip. Comfortable catch. 7 for 2, 24. 19 run partnership comes to an end. Sam Harper is still the wicket. And Fergus O'Neill will be the one to join him very shortly. But, yeah, we mentioned that Corey Roccaccioli was the only one to not get amongst the wickets of the bowlers. He's now found himself in the wickets column. and Strikes him in line, and he's given. So Roccaccioli picks up the wicket. I'm not sure that O'Neill is convinced with that umpiring decision, but O'Neill's been given out LBW. As we look at the replay, difficult for us to tell from behind the batsman and the wicketkeeper. Certainly height you wouldn't think would be an issue, Jason. It would just be the line. I wonder whether the ball won't have spun and missed leg stump. That's what O'Neill seems to be suggesting with his reaction. But he's been given out LBW. He's out for 20. Roccaccioli with the wicket. It's 8 for 252. Yeah, you're right. Certainly not going over. It's hit him in the bottom third of the other successful bowler. And there's a success here as well. I think there is. Harper has turned it straight to the hands of Bancroft. And Roccaccioli has another wicket. Commentary box. These wickets continue to fall. And Roccaccioli has backed up the same bowl as well. Yeah, he's bowled very well, hasn't he? We saw him have a couple of overs before the lunch break, and we just thought, gee whiz, there's a bit in this. And uh, he didn't sort of come on until halfway through that second session, and since then he's really complimented what's been going on with the Hardys and, and the others. And, well, he's ended up being the strike bowler, hasn't he? He's, he's got good bounce, he's got good turn. Well, don't have to worry about it now. It's, it's gone straight through the defences of Scott Bowl and that one from Cameron Gannon picks up his second wicket by Will Pukowski and Travis Dean. Now that is the demise of 
Scott Boland, the top of middle stump. And that'll see Western Australia come out for a tricky little period here. They'll bat for 26 minutes this evening. And we'll see what Victoria can uh, can throw at them, whether they can take a couple of wickets with them into stumps on day one. Wayne Clark, who was a good fight back from Western Australia. Bancroft takes up the challenge, gets the half volley and punches it through cover for four. Nice start from the WA opener. Change of number for him on his shirt, but no change in the way that he's batting. Bancroft chasing that one outside off stump. Thickish outside edge. He'll take the boundary. Now Whiteman on strike, and he starts with a boundary as well. A thick edge. Controlled to the ground at least. And found the gap between the slips and gully. Boland's picked up a wicket. Might have come off the inside edge. It's taken leg stump. And that's what we were talking about, this dangerous period. And it's a really tough little period here. Scott Boland doing what he's done so well over the course of his career is getting that ball top of the stumps. Yes, there's Sam Watton's inside edge to back onto leg stump there. But again, probing length. It's what he was trying to do in the first over to Cameron Bancroft, but just pushing a fraction too full. and Punching off the back foot. That's a fine shot from Wiley. Getting it between backward point and gully. All the way along the carpet for four. Wiley edges it through the gap between third slip and gully. He'll get four. Take his tally to eight. Full. And he punches it away through mid-wicket this time. He's timed it very well. That might go all the way. Pukowski gives chase. He won't get there. And that's a fantastic way for Teague Wiley to end the day. 